Hello everyone. Welcome to ITPK. In today's video, we will see the steps on how to configure Windows 11 Chaos device using Microsoft Intune. A Chaos device with Intune is a specialized device configured to run specific applications in a log mode, manage and secured through Microsoft Intune. This setup is commonly used in public or enterprise settings to provide limited access to features while ensuring data security. Running Windows 11 devices in a chaos mode is a great feature. If you want to lock down Windows 11 devices and only allow one or few applications to run while also preventing end users from accessing anything else on the device, Microsoft Intune provides very simple and effective way to set up a chaos device in an organization. We can use device configuration profile to configure Windows 11 as a chaos device. Okay, to log in into Microsoft Intune, please use URL intune.microsoft.com and you must have global administrator or Intune service administrator account to perform or set up a chaos device in Microsoft Intune. So let's go to devices and then scroll down under manage devices, go to configuration, click on plus create icon as we are going to create a new policy here the platform select windows 10 and later and in the profile type select templates here in the templates scroll down and find out chaos select chaos and click create on the basics page of configuration profile please enter a name and a meaningful description right i have entered that already let's go to next to the configuration setting now on the configuration page select chaos mode here we have the option here single app full screen chaos multi app chaos in the single app chaos mode we could only run a single app on the screen and only that one app will be started on the screen and cannot be exited the device will run a single user account and logs it to a single app or browser. So when the user will sign in, only that single specific app will be started. This mode also restricts users from opening new apps or changing the current running app. We can choose between Edge browser or a store app. Win32 apps cannot be selected here. Multi app chaos mode will run more than one app on the computer. Only the apps we add are available on the device. It has a customized start which only shows the apps that are allowed. This mode provides easy to understand experience for the user by only accessing apps they need and also will remove the apps from their view they don't need. Currently, multi-app chaos mode is only supported on the Windows 10. It is not supported on Windows 11. In today's example, we can use single app. Now here, we need to select the user logon type that will run the app. So for this example, we will use auto logon Windows 10 version and later of Windows 11. This option generally used on chaos devices in the public faced environment that don't require the users to sign in. It is more similar to a guest account. You can specify the local user account from the targeted device. If you want to specify the local user account to sign in, we also have option to add Azure ID user or group. Local user account or Microsoft Intra user Group. I have selected auto logon type because in this video we are going to proceed with auto logon type. Next, let's select the application type. Let's click on the drop down menu. We have different application type here and Microsoft Edge browser and Microsoft Edge legacy browser. Care. We need to define the website URL and Edge chaos URL. 
that will automatically open the website into the browser. So let's specify the URL that will open when the Edge Microsoft restarts are open. So in this example, let's define double slash pk.com only for your understanding right you can define any url according to your requirement uh, i have forgotten to put here www dot right this code with the complete url now in the next option we need to select microsoft add chaos mode type open this drop down both options help protect users data in public browsing in private option the default page will open by default however user can open another website in same or another tab users can browse publicly or can end their browsing sessions the second option will open only a default page in a full screen and will only show the content of default web page. Let's select public browsing option for this demo. If you require, you can select digital interactive signage in private. Let me select this. For refresh browser ideal time, you can put the ideal time when browser needs to be restarted. The ideal time is the last interaction of the user. You can specify the value of between 0 to 1440 minutes. I'm not going to specify it here. And the value and detail, you could come to exclamation sign and you can see the details here. We are also not going to specify the maintenance window for a restart. So let's go ahead and select next to this page in the assignment page. Uh, you can select the group that needs to be assigned this chaos mode so i'm going to group and let me quickly create the group new group let's name it K -I -O -S -K -S device group okay perfect i'm gonna add the same description here let's create Let's go back and I want to add the chaos device group here. Let's go to group and type chaos device group. Select that group. Click next. On the applicability rules page, click on next. On review and create page, review all of your settings. If you are okay with all of your settings, you can click on create this will take few seconds to get this policy created and appear in the list of configurations so here you go chaos device profile so now chaos device profile will get propagated or seen to the device that will be the member of chaos device group when the device check in with Microsoft Intune or get sync with Intune, this chaos policy will be applied to the device that will be the member of chaos device group. So according to our policy, when the devices get sync with Microsoft Intune and chaos policy will get propagated across the devices when they open Microsoft Edge as according to my defined URL they will get itpk.com will be open automatically in their browser and they will also be able to search more websites on their browser it's not opening because my site is not active yet in the coming weeks my site will be active so this is just to explain you and user will be open to any other website right in their browser be because we have selected the first option if we have selected the digital interactive signage option then our website itpk.com will open automatically but the user will be able to see the web page in the full screen mode 
and they can browse through the website. However, they will not be able to open any other website like I have opened Google or any other website within the option we have selected. Also, if you want to end session or close Microsoft Edge, we could do this in the mode we have set up, right? But if we selected the second mode, users will not be able to close or end this session. So that's all on this for this video that how to configure Windows Chaos Mode using Microsoft Intune configuration profile. So that's all about today's video that we have learned to set up Windows 11 Chaos Mode as a Chaos device in a single app full screen Chaos Mode with Microsoft Intune. I hope you enjoyed this simple and to the point video. Thanks for watching. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye.